Hello, this is Tola with the Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to clean up a mesh after you've created your character and you've added a rig to it in Blender's to Rigify. Um, I'm just going to call it Rigify Modifier to uh, your, your mesh. You've um, bone weighted everything, your whole mesh to the bone. Sometimes you get issues where you click on a part of your mesh. Or part of the bone. I'm going to just choose this as a uh, example. I've already set this up to do that. But I'm going to click on this IK control, press do the grab. As you can see, the uh, left or yeah, left arm is moving. But then you have this issue over here, where there's something going on, and this happens quite a bit when you automatically uh, weights your mesh to the bone. Uh, the character that I'm going to, I'm using is from. Um, Manual Bastoni Lab is an add-on for Blender that's also free open source and it makes adult humanoids male and female it doesn't make children or babies uh, but I guess I know you could actually modify that to actually do that and it makes fantasy based characters like elves and things like that it doesn't make dogs or you know mythical creatures just humanoids based, based characters and fantasy based characters like anime and things like that I'll leave a description of that or a link for that in the description to a manual Bastoni lab so you can download it yourselves and actually you know have fun with that. Um, but back to the point of this tutorial. Uh, I've done a tutorial like this before where you want to clean up your mesh, but the way I did it before was really tedious and really a lot of guesswork in it. But in Blender 2.78 they actually uh, improved or actually added more functionality to a modifier in Blender which is the mask modifier. So now you can do a lot more with the mask modifier, more things with it than just mask out mask off <clears throat> parts of your mesh so in order to clean up your mesh using this uh, mask modifier after you've uh, added your rig to it so you've done the, the uh, bone weights to it click on your mesh click on your character your mesh and then on the right side of your tab you're going to, to go to um, this wrench icon click on that which is already activated then go to add modifier and then from add modifier click on mask after you've clicked on mask it's going to say vertex group, but click on the mode and armature is going to be there, which is something they just added in Blender 2.78. And once you've done that, click on your eyedropper tool and then hover over the part of your, uh, any part of the armature you want to, you know, use as a selection. Click on that and it automatically puts it in the, in the field there. And now we can click on different parts of our mesh to find out what exactly is going on so I'm going to click on this part because I know that this part is where we had movements so when we click on that it will look fine it's because it's on the a lower arm, arm twist.l let's click on the yellow part <coughs> excuse me once we've done that <coughs> excuse me we see that this whole left arm forearm has been uh, selected and this has also been selected because this is also is uh, weighted to this bone <clears throat> but we don't want that so we're going to click on our our mesh and then down here click on weight paint and we can see that it's also weighted to this bone in blender there are different degrees of uh of weighting when it comes to mesh meshes and bones blue means no attachment at all and then red is the highest level of uh, weight that the bone has on that mesh you have different variations in between you have yellow green so on and so forth so green is what uh, the color of this mesh is we want to turn this to blue in order to do that we click go back to our bottom part of our window and click on that and go to edit mode and I've already pretty much selected that in order to uh, select parts of your mesh I'm going to press A to G select all that you can press C I you always use C and hold down your left mouse button to um, paint in this area so to speak and then once you've done that go to back to your the right side of your panel click on this triangle and this brings up your vertex groups and what you want to do is look for with blender once you've uh, chosen the bone you've gone into weight paint and then edit mode it automatically 
selects the part of the bone that you're working with. And then the weight part of it, make sure you get the weight is all the way up to one and then click remove. We go back here and go back to weight paint. Or actually, let's tab back in there and go back to object mode. And then as you can see, that part of the mesh has been deselected and the armature with the mesh has been rectified, it's been fixed. Because we only wanted this part of the mesh to be selected to be activated by this bone and not that part. And that's pretty much how the modifier works, the mask modifier in the uh, vertex group or armature mode. Actually, that's how it works. So you can just click through all aspects of your bone to make sure that the proper weights have been applied to different parts of your mesh. And that's how you, that this is a very, very efficient way to clean up your uh, meshes and your armatures in Blender. Uh, using the mask modifier in armature mode. So just to uh, do a quick uh, overview of what we talked about, click on your mesh once that's been chosen. Um, go to your go to the modifier stacker, click on mask. Once you've chosen mask, change the mode from uh, vertex group to armature. Click on your eyedropper, choose the part of uh, any part of your, your, your rig, click on that, automatically puts it in there. And then once your uh, rig or your armature is still selected, go to weight paint. And the weight paint, uh, uh, this was the last thing we clicked on. Uh, my phone's ringing now. Uh, wow, this is, this is like the eighth time I've recorded this tutorial. Uh, so I'm just going to ignore the phone. But uh, once you're in weight paint, uh, we can see that this part of the uh, rig is selected, of your of your mesh is selected. And then uh, once that's done, that's how you can check throughout your rig to make sure that it's been probably properly uh, weighted down to the mesh. And that's pretty much it. I uh, hope this wasn't too confusing for anyone because it's just a lot of back and forth still with the rig and the mesh situation. That's how it was in my last uh, the last tutorial with the uh, uh, mesh cleanup. But this is more efficient because now we have the uh, the mask modifier to help with cleaning up our, our mesh and our rig. Um, so hope this helped someone and hope it was as straightforward as it could possibly be to understand. But um, yeah. Um, Hope you guys have a great day, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.